Hi, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm gonna to show you how to make five margaritas. So in addition to the classic margarita, I'm gonna show you how to make four variations that are perfect for this summer. And this is everyone's favorite tequila cocktail. So let's get started. So at first it may sound a little bit daunting making five different recipes, but as you can see, there's only a, a few ingredients here up on the bar. And in particular with the tequila, if you've only got one bottle, if you've only got a Blanco or a Reposado, then you can use that across all of them. Uh, typically the Blanco is a younger tequila, uh, unlike the Reposado, which is rested in oak, which means it's gonna soften and the oak flavor is gonna be imparted on the tequila. So generally use a Blanco for like a classic margarita. Uh, and then just purely out of my personal taste, I'm gonna use the Reposado uh, for others that are blended or in a Tommy's margarita, which uh, is matched up with the agave. Okay, first question that you gotta ask yourself is to salt or not to salt? Personally, I don't like the salt flavor in my drink, but it does look good and it is an integral part of a margarita. So if you're offering this drink to someone else, I recommend salting only half of the rim of the glass and then they've got that option of drinking through the salt or without. Seeing as I'm making a classic margarita first, I've salt rimmed the glass and I'm using a coupe today. If you've got a margarita glass, even better. So for the classic margarita, I'm gonna use the Blanco tequila and measure out 45 mil, 1.5 ounces. Then follow that with a triple sec. Today I'm using Cointreau, so an orange liqueur. 15 mil, or half an ounce. And freshly squeezed lime juice. 30 mil, or one ounce. Now some people do call for simple syrup in their recipes, but it's not necessary. This is well balanced. You do have enough sugar from the Cointreau and that's balanced out with the sourness of the citrus. And there you have a classic margarita. Next up, the Tommy's Margarita. We'll be bolstering up the amount of tequila we use, leaving out the orange liqueur and adding in agave syrup. So it's still a three ingredient cocktail. So for this one, I'll be heating up my Reposado tequila. So this has been rested on oak for a little bit of time. 60 mil, two ounces. Reason being I like using the Reposado is I feel it goes really well with the agave syrup. Then we follow that up with 30 mil or one ounce of fresh lime juice. And then lastly, use your agave syrup. The reason I don't actually measure this is because it clogs up the, uh, the jigger and I'm about to use this jigger in a couple of seconds time. So 15 mil, half an ounce, but I usually like to estimate it. and now strain it over fresh ice into an old-fashioned glass. And I'll garnish the Tommy's Margarita with a lime wheel. There you have the Tommy's Margarita. So next up, the Cucumber and Jalapeno Margarita. So this is where it starts to get a little bit more creative and we're gonna start muddling some cucumber and then shaking it with the jalapenos to throw some heat through the drink. And we've also added a little bit of a chili flake salt rim. Actually, I might change the shaker over so you can see me muddling. So, to your Boston shaker. Add in a few slices of cucumber. And give it a light muddle. Next, we want to add a few slices of your jalapeno. Throw some seeds in there as well, why not? So the cooling properties of the, the cucumber should counteract some of that spiciness, but keep in mind that the spiciness does impart on the drink quite easily just by shaking it. So we're gonna go with the standard classic margarita recipe. 
by starting with 45 mil of tequila, one and a half ounces, and follow that up with the orange liqueur, 15 mil, half an ounce, and 30 fresh lime juice. One ounce. It smells spicy. So for this one, I'm just gonna dump the contents of the shaker into the glass. So as with all garnishing, I tend to, or most bartenders like to match the ingredients with the garnish. I'll put the chili on top and also serves as a warning whenever you're using a, a spices in a drink, people know it's gonna be spicy. So in addition to that, it would be nice to add a little bit of color. So a red, red chili would actually look really good. But I had a slice of cucumber in there so you can eat that as you're going through that spicy margarita. So there you have a cucumber and jalapeno margarita. Cheers. So next we have the mango margarita, something a little bit sweeter. I'm choosing again to use the Reposado. I keep saying choosing, but one of the main reasons is because I'm running quite low on my Blanco. I'm gonna measure the same as a classic margarita. 45 bill, 1.5 ounces. Followed by my orange liqueur. 15 mil, half an ounce. And 30 mil or one ounce of fresh lime juice. So mango margarita, I'm gonna add the mango pulp into the blender jug and add about half a cup of ice before blending. Of course, that's the versatility of the margarita, especially when you're doing a frozen margarita, is instead of mango, you can add strawberry, you can add all different kinds of fruit and make different fruit variations. And now pour the contents of your blender jug straight into margarita glass, coupe glass, So if you want to, you can add more ice and you can essentially make a bit of a, a mountain out of it, but then it's a little bit too diluted. It's too much water in it. I quite like it like this. It's got a nice smooth texture to it, especially with the mango. For garnish, nice and simple, just a lime one. And there you have the mango margarita. And next up, something that I haven't actually made before, the Mexican Bulldog, otherwise known as the Coronita Margarita. So for those that don't know, the Coronita is a miniature baby size, adorable little Corona. Uh, 210 mils, and it's pretty much, the Mexican Bulldog is just a frozen margarita with a beer dumped in it. So if you don't have Corona or Coronita, then you can always use some other Mexican beer. So again, it's a blended drink, and I'm gonna start off with my Reposado tequila. subpar corks. So I'm gonna increase the ratios a little bit because it is gonna have a lot of ice in there so it's gonna add some extra dilution. So I'm gonna bump this up to 60. 60 mil, two ounces. Followed by 22.5 mil or three quarters of an ounce of your orange liqueur. and fresh lime juice. 30 mils, one ounce. That's a tiny bit more. So add about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of ice. So I ended up adding a little bit more ice, so it is quite thick, as you can see. So 
and then simply upturn the coronator into the margarita. As I said, first time I've done it, so hopefully this doesn't make a mess and go everywhere. And garnish with a lime wedge. They have a coronita or a Mexican bulldog. Cheers. So there you have five different variations of a margarita. You've got a classic margarita, a Tommy's, a cucumber and jalapeno, a mango margarita, and a Mexican bulldog. So before I sign out, I just wanna say thank you to the new Patreon subscribers. Uh, there's been quite a few over the last week or two. Your support means everything and makes this channel possible. So if you want to, please check out our Patreon link there and check out our page. But now to choose which one, I'm gonna go the mango margarita. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Yeah. And for the Tommy's Margarita, I'll garnish with it.